What's up guys? I'm back. I'm gonna skip the whole intro thing just because I need to get ready to go to work and I worked up a sweat just setting up this this thing to film. I'm sitting on top of a big blanket so I can lift myself up. My makeup is in front of me. Anyway, let's just get ready together as I ramble on about mental health. How's your mental health? Mine has not been that great, thanks for asking. Um, I have been diagnosed bipolar um, several times. Um, I never considered myself bipolar only because I've never experienced like those high highs that people talk about. But I do go through periods of really low lows. Um, where it's you know hard to get up and do and do life all right um things become like simple things become a huge challenge like you become lethargic you just don't want to do anything you don't want to go to work you question like what's the point life is so monotonous and i just you know every day same thing pay bills go to work blah 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 and so it's like i can speak only for myself i go into this mental space of what's the point um like if i'm not doing anything else um and i'm not feeling any joy and and this is all on me like i don't make an effort to go out and look for things that bring me joy so you know what I do is I hibernate I lock myself in my room I should probably get a foundation I lock myself in my room and by the way I'll list the products that I'm using down in the description box in case you're curious so anyway so I lock myself in my room and I binge on TV and I'm talking binge like I could watch 12 hours straight multiple seasons multiple shows back to back um, because I was telling my therapist the other day, and yes, I started therapy because I should have never stopped therapy to begin with. Um, but I'm happy I started again. Um, I was telling him that I am sure that, um, watching TV, the unhealthy way that I do, is definitely a coping mechanism for me because it's my way to kind of check out put my head in the sand and not deal with those feelings that I was telling you about of like, what's the point? You know, I'm not happy. Like nothing bad, nothing major has happened. I mean, my dog died. Yes, we had to put her down. Yes, I lost my house to foreclosure two years ago. Yes, I have a daughter that hates me and doesn't speak to me and doesn't let me see my grandson. And I believe she's in a cult and there's nothing I can do about it. So, you know, maybe my, this period that I've been going through, where I've been feeling really, really down and not kind of been able to snap out of it until today. So this is huge. The fact that I'm in front of the camera doing my makeup is huge because I couldn't even bring myself to upload like a one minute video for a couple of weeks. And, um, anyway, um, you know, life happens and and I feel like, you know, some people just can do life better than others. Um, I used to go to meetings where they would say some of us are just people that are maladjusted to life, meaning like, and I've always been like this and I've always wondered, like ever since I was little, any little problem I would go into this deep, it was like a whole big deal and I would be sad for days and then I would see kind of similar things happen to my friends and they would like, you know, snap out of it. And I would always wonder like, wow, like, why can't I do that? Why am I, why do I, why am I suffering so much for something that doesn't require suffering for days and, and weeks and months? And so from a very early age, I kind of knew that my brain work differently um and as I got older and life got you know harder because I was on my own I've been on my own since I was 20 and I went through a lot of hardships um 
both in my in my childhood and as a young adult as we most of us have um, we all have horror stories I'm sure um, so anyway so when when you're an adult and then um, not having the correct coping skills or the not having been kind of prepared at home because I came from a from a family that was very very kind of I don't want to say military but it's like you know we, we were very um, guarded from the outside world like I wasn't allowed to go to the grocery store unless I took my two little sisters with me I wasn't allowed to go to prom I wasn't allowed to go to out with my friends I wasn't allowed to go on dates that was like impossible I, I was allowed to wear makeup like at 18 like you know old old school military Dominican type parenting and you know that's how they were raised and they thought that um that that's how they should raise their kids the difference being that they were raised in DR and they were raising us here in America where the culture was telling us something entirely different so for me I came here when I was 10 in case for those of you that don't know me and and the trauma of adjusting to a new culture and not knowing the language like I, I learned to speak English like I don't know I guess by the time I was in middle school high school I don't remember but I struggled I used to, I remember I used to laugh me and my sister we would laugh when we would hear people speak English we thought it sounded so funny and and it's just like hilarious to think back um uh where was I going with that oh so anyway so having to adapt to this new culture and seeing how my friends you know had had different such a different home environment uh, that almo almost made me that made the way I felt about myself and how I saw my problems were bigger than everybody else's that kind of exacerbated that if that's the word that kind of gave me a, a, a sense of oh you see Nancy yeah look how good their lives are they get to go to prom they get to go on dates they get to go and hang out with their friends and and you're not allowed to do any of that and so the comparison started and <laughs> I'm sure you've all heard this they say comparison is the thief of joy or something like that where the heck is my horse um so yeah if you want to be miserable just compare yourself to someone who's doing better or, or someone who's you know thinner more fit whatever the whatever the, the case is whatever you think or you know some more successful um which for a long time i stopped doing social media for that same reason because i am um, i i just that's like my default and i've been working really hard to not to not have that be my default as i then kind of got older i I mean, I was someone that was that faced bullying at school, beatings, beatings at school, beatings at home, um, prejudice, racism. I, I experienced people spitting in my face, telling me go back to you, go back to your country. Um, so things like that. Like it, it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. And then to you know not not have supportive parents that you can come home and share that with. Um, or even, yeah, I didn't even bother. I would just come home crying and it was just, that's it. And I would just, um, I would beg to please don't send me to school today because I'm terrified of the girls that are going to beat me up that I knew were going to be waiting for me outside the bus. And, and it wasn't an option. You, you had to go to school every single day because it was like very, you know, very ingrained. You have to do everything right. You have to do everything perfectly. And so, um, yeah I just I, I took it I took a lot of beatings and I became very good at it um, because I learned to kind of disassociate from the pain um, and kind of just kind of go in and and just accept it and then say it's gonna be over Nancy you know it's gonna be over it's not gonna last forever and you're gonna be fine and move on and so that may have played a part in my mental well my mental not well-being I don't know maybe maybe not maybe this shit happens to a lot of people and they they don't have still don't have 
um, you know, this is not the brush I want to use. I'm sorry. See, I have anger issues as well. Do you? I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't lash out, but like, I don't have any patience with myself. Um, and if you are someone that is like me and you feel like, like the way I have felt or have something similar, like try to, try to give yourself some grace. Like don't try not to beat yourself up and, and know that those times where we're at our lowest, it, you know, they do pass. It's not going to be like that forever. I know it just feels like it, it's never going away, but, but it does. Um, better times will come. Things change. Nothing stays the same. And that's the, the only guarantee that we have that everything is always shifting and changing. And, and it's up to us to kind of, and I'm not, I, I'm giving this advice, but I need to hear it so I can take the advice myself. It's up to us. Like when I get up, I get to decide what kind of day am I going to have today? Am I going to give in to the negative thoughts and all those self-defeating thoughts? Or am I going to try to move forward and let all that stuff, you know, all that noise, just see for what it is, just noise. Um, that's not serving me. That's not going to help me move towards any goal of mine. Um, that's just going to keep me stuck longer, right? Um, so it takes courage. And I know like when you, when we think mental health, we think, oh, someone who's weak or has some type of def mental deficiency or, but no, it takes a lot of courage to struggle with the things that we struggle with and still get to show up like, and do the damn thing, like do life, do being a mother. I raised my kids by myself and, and, and this is something that <clears throat> not that I was a perfect mother, not even close, but those are things that are very hard. Um, and when you have these struggles, those things become even more challenging. So, you know, it's life. And I hope if you're someone that's watching this and you can't relate to what I'm saying, I'm happy for you. I'm happy that you can't relate to, to how this feels because I don't, I don't wish that on anyone. And you know, I'm, I've always been the type of person, like physically, I've been lucky with when it comes to my health. I never even got COVID once. I never got the vaccine. Don't judge. And I never even got it. I'm like, knock on wood, I've been very blessed in that way. But I feel like we all have to have something, right? The world is not a perfect place. We can't be perfect. And so I feel like my challenge has been my, my mental health and that's okay. And I accept it. And I and I've lived with it my entire life and I just, you know, I learn and I grow and um, we never stop growing. And at my age, there's still a lot. There's a lot of things that I feel I should have learned by now. A lot of, because when I find myself stuck in, in the, you know, in those periods and they seem to last forever and weeks and weeks and weeks, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm in my fifties. Like what, why am I still struggling? with the same stuff that I was struggling with when I was younger. But <clears throat> mental health is not something that just, it's not like a cold. You get it and then it goes away and then you're, <laughs> and then you're cured, right? Um, <clears throat> it takes, I feel like, and I forgot about this, it takes work, just like anything else in life and um, continued work. And I stopped doing that for a while. Let me take a break one sec. Okay, sorry, I had to go close the door. I'm gonna move a little closer so you guys can see me a little better. Uh, oh my God, it's hot. Where was I? Where was I? Oh, how? Um, it's not something that you work on it for a little bit and it goes away and you're cured. This is something, this is a lifelong thing. Um, and the minute I forget about that and don't do the work is when I slip into times like this. Um, and you know, like I said, I just started therapy back up again and I don't know, I just get, I'm the kind of person, and this is also, I think part of my, part of some the thing that I, the thing that I struggle with, I can be very passionate about so many different things but I hop around like I'll be passionate for 
for when I started YouTube, I was all in, committed, reading, learning, took classes, paid for courses. I was all in. And then I started not seeing growth. So automatically, I'm a failure. So I'm going to give up. And I stopped for like a year. Um, knowing very well that everyone who has ever done YouTube, that's the first thing they tell you. Growth on YouTube is very difficult. It's not like the other, the other platforms. But anyways, but I did let that affect me emotionally. I went into like a deep depression because, you know, the minute you put your value, <laughs> your, your self-esteem or your value based on like the, your number of followers, you're set up to fail. I mean, obviously. So, you know, that was, that was a while back. I, I haven't felt that way in a long time. As a matter of fact, I don't even check how many followers I have anymore. I just, I just want to be able to do it. And if I didn't work, I probably would be doing it more often. Um, but I do work at Sephora, even though it's not full time, it is part time. And, um, oh my God, I'm sweating. I'm so sorry. Um, it, um, yeah, I, I work part time and just, I don't know. It, I don't have the same amount of time that I used to. And that's just also an excuse because I know the real reason is that I just have not been feeling myself and just the thought of picking up the camera has felt like such a huge task and I haven't been able to. I think it's been months since I filmed well, I did a, a, a little small video on my from my from my phone, which was like doing the micro needling, because that's another big passion of my skincare, um, and so that one was kind of like easy for me to to just I just turned the camera on and just kind of I did go on a rant about my hyperpigmentation on that video. I don't know which one will will go up first, but anyway, if it has been up, I'll, I'll link it. What, what was I saying? How social media, um, yeah, can, if you really let it get to you. But um, I forgot what I wanted to say. I honestly don't even know what I want to say. I can go back to complaining about my hyperpigmentation, how much I hate them. Oh, another thing I wanted to touch on. How getting older and having, and if you're an older woman, you may, may relate to this. I, I filmed a video the other day, like out in the sun, and I'm looking at the video and I'm like, that's not me. Like in my mind, that's not what I look like because I feel like I'm like a 20 year old trapped in like a 59 year old woman's body. And so there's that kind of disconnect. And, and I feel, I think that that happens to, to all of us when we notice like our face just really goes through a big shift. And, and of course we, as women, we want to feel beautiful and youthful means beautiful and so anything that is not youthful automatically in my brain translates to it's ugly you can't upload that that's embarrassing and it's because my, i really saw my my lines under my eyes but it's like what the heck like what is the alternative you know six feet under or you get wrinkles so I still want to be here for my kids um, and for my future grandkids, even though I have one and I don't get to see him, but I have two more kids and hopefully they'll give me grandkids that I can be part of their life and watch them grow and go to their games and go to their, I don't know if they'll be having proms in the future, whatever it is they'll be having. Um, Maybe they'll be having three proms because back in my day we only had one. Now there's two and who knows. And this seems to be an event for everything nowadays. Uh, this thing with sex reveal, that was not a thing. If you're my age, you know. It's like like another thing, yet another thing. It, it's This generation is a little, little crazy. Y'all look crazy. But it's all good. I stay on top of what's going on only because my kids are young otherwise I because I live under a rock I don't watch the news I don't watch I don't go on social media I only go in when I have to post something I don't um, I live under a rock because most of the time I'm in front of my TV 
escaping my life, you know, because that's what's healthy. That's what you should do. No, don't do that. I'm joking. Don't, don't do that. Um, even when life gets hard, don't do that. And that's something I'm, I'm, I'm sweating about. <laughs> no, that's something I'm working on and um, something that I need a lot of work because I need to find, I need to be able to ooh, put myself out there. I've been single for almost a decade and I am perfectly fine with it. The thought of dating gives me like, I don't know, I, I've just been so close, closed off. I um, told myself I, after my last relationship, I'm, I said, I'm never doing this again. I'm never gonna get hurt ever again. And apparently my brain told my body to shut itself off because it did. So I am like perfectly happy. I could be, I could be living in a monastery. I could be living um, with the nuns and they would love me. Well, now I'm a Christian, so I don't know. It couldn't be a Catholic church. But anyway, yeah. And that's, I use Christian as a very loose. I mean, I go to, I've been going for two years to a Christian church and I love it, but I haven't been baptized yet. My daughter got baptized, but I haven't. But um, I love it. I don't agree with some of the things, but you know, I take what works for me and I leave the rest and that's it. And that's how I've always approached I don't want to call it religion. I, I believe in spirituality. To me, it's all the same thing. It's just different forms of expressing itself, different voices. And it makes sense because we're not all the same. God created us all to be very different. And so, of course, it makes sense that different perspective, different, the, the Bible is going to be perceived in very different perspectives. So, of course, it's going to be related in different ways and it's going to be received differently by every person so you know some people whatever i don't know why i'm going into this you guys don't care about it. but spirituality is huge and i think that's one of the things i know that's the main thing actually that um this makeup is horrible that has kept me you know that's why i pick myself self up every time i fail and i want to give up and i want to just like shut it down there's no point it's like like why bother i just want to be i want to be happy and like don't call and request a what is that called a health check whatever no i'm fine i'm just saying that those are the thoughts um that come sometimes and i've been having them since since i was like 10. those those thoughts to me are, are normal i think i'd it'd be weird if I didn't have them. I know it's as crazy as that sounds. It's, I know, I'm insane. I know. I know, trust me. If you had to be in my head for an hour, you'd be crazy too. This is me. This is me. I sometimes use humor, like sarcasm, like also as a way of like minimizing things. And I don't know. I try not to take, I try to, I'm always very good at laughing at myself or yeah, laughing at myself, like not taking myself too seriously. But yet at the same time, if I let social media affect me, that means I'm taking myself too seriously, right? That means I'm not as selfless as I think I am. Um, so yeah, like I said, we're, we're all a um, work in progress, seriously. and. And I think the people that, that are that say, oh, I know everything, I don't need to learn from anyone else. Like I know it all. I'd rather be who I am than be that person who thinks they have all the answers or they know it all. Um, because no one does. We're all just here trying to do life, trying our best. Some of us fail more than others. Some of us cope in a way that's really horrific and in a way that hurts our families. Others are lucky that they don't end up coping that way, but they cope in other ways. None of us are perfect. And um, coping in a way that you think is hurting you and your family, just know that you're not alone. And I gave up on myself so many times, so many times, and somehow always found 
the grace of some something the universe the, the, like whoever god and a higher power always found a way to pick myself up and say you know what it's not my time I, i'm going to i'm going to try this thing again i'm going to try to do life again because my motivation was always my kids deserve better so i always that was always my motivating factor if i didn't have kids i don't know that i would have picked myself up and that's just me being honest. Um, I admire people that have been through like the same thing, like what I'm talking about, and they don't have kids and they still get their lives together. So it's like I admire them so much because for me, I know it's it's motherhood that has kept me, you know, trying to stay on the right path or do the right thing. Um, and And that's not... I don't know. That's neither right or wrong. That is that just happens to be my reality, who I am, and and that's okay. And that's okay. It's like whatever, whatever works. Um. Oh my gosh! I just messed that up. Look at that. I gave myself a wing, except it's not really a wing. It's a smudge. I'll be right back. Let me clean this mess. Okay, I'm back. I'm really. Hope, sorry about the noise. It's a little fan. I'm trying to not be melting in your in front of your face. I'm really struggling. It's hot in here. I should have turned on the AC. I'm sorry. Um, this makeup is really not. I get, apparently, I forgot how to do makeup and talk at the same time because this is like nothing, nothing, re nothing revolutionary. Although I'm not a makeup artist, so if you expected that from me, sorry, sorry to disappoint. Anyway. If this video helped, even if it helped one person that may be feeling the way that I have felt or can relate to what I'm talking about, then this video was worth it. And forget the makeup. Who cares about the makeup, right? It's just, it washes off. Um, people's struggles are very real and some people suffer in silence or, or don't have a support system and, you know, hopefully if that is you, um, you found this to be a little bit helpful and that would make my day. And if that's so, please leave me a, a comment down below just so I know who you are, okay? And we'll continue to support each other. I think this month is Mental Health Month, if I'm not mistaken. It's also Hispanic um, heritage. I have got to hurry up because I have to get to work. That's one thing that I find that even when I'm in those periods where I'm, where I'm really, really low, when I get to work, I'm like a different person and I'm like energetic and I just, you know, that, that's why it's so important like to, to love what you do. And of course there are days when I hate what I do, when like nasty clients come in and like make your day like, you know, or just whatever conflicts that the workplace it happens to everyone everywhere and that's normal um but for the most part going to work is like my safe haven it gives me a reason to get up and get out right and um i'm very grateful for that I, i'll be there almost this month I'll, i'm there three years in that same store in that same sephora store ouch and i don't know for the most part i have become uh, the skincare like queen in that store just because I never seem to shut up about skincare and I'm like always walking around reading <laughs> every time there's a new product that comes in I'm there like with my with my glasses reading everything learning everything and I just I don't know I just love I find that so fascinating whereas other people find skincare like a chore and it's so hard and it's boring I'm like I love it what's not to love I don't get it see this is why we're all so different I love skincare and I guess that would explain also why it's hard for me to see my face so different like I don't know I, I feel like it's normal to struggle with the aging process 
but being the gloom and doom person that I am, of course I'm not handling it as, for example, my sister who's two years older and she doesn't even color her hair. She went all gray, she's beautiful, fashion, skinny, works out, beautiful body. She loves her age. She would not change it for anything. See, I wanna be like her when I grow up. Will it ever happen? I don't know, it hasn't happened yet, so. Not a lot of hope for me, guys. But, um, in my defense, though, I haven't gotten any work done. Can't afford it. Um, I might, if, if I could afford it, um, do some... Ow! Shit! This is so bad. I love my long hair, but it's, like, so inconvenient sometimes. Hopefully, someday I'll be able to. Like, if I want to get some touch-ups or something. I've, I've been lucky that I don't have a ton of wrinkles yet, but, like... I would love to be able to do something with my eyes. I don't, I don't freaking know. Like this, like that thing, I think they put fillers in there and so it, it doesn't, so it fills up. And so, it, because that ages you, like when you have that, that, and I'm looking at the viewfinder, sorry. But yeah, that there. Um, and not just mature women get that done. Like a lot of young girls too, if they have like a lot of, because some, it depends on your genes also. I find that, um, yeah, some, some cultures experience more hollowness than others. And so, yeah, I've seen young girls get that done too. Doesn't matter. Um, wow, I have so many boo-boos today. I just got this pen from Anastasia and I am loving it. That's the one I use to define my my brows and I'm like, why am I just discovering this now? But you can use it to pri as a primer. Look, I'm using it to touch up the mistakes, like to cover up that. All right, uh, this is it. I am not doing anything else because I, I can't stand the sweat. It's so hot in here. Um, thank you for watching. If you made it to the end, I appreciate you. Um, if you wanna support this channel, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already and uh, leave me a comment like i said if you're someone that ha struggles or has struggled with anything um let's let's start a chat in the um a chat below and you know share our thoughts and give give our support to maybe others that are not necessarily reaching out um we can always be that voice right it takes only one person to put like the right thought in someone's brain and that can make a huge difference in someone's life believe it or not. Um, I believe in like when you, the teacher will appear when, when you're ready to learn. And um, I learned that the hard way. And that's a story for another day. But uh, anyway, thank you for spending your time with me today. Take care. Have a great weekend. And I will see you soon. Hopefully, I will try to stay positive. I will try to post more. Okay? I promise I'll try. Bye.